Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of the MMA Player Reacts. We have our live reactions, our high stakes, even our breakdowns of the latest things out there. This time around we have more details on the Mario Plus for Abbott Sports of Home video, uh, the game that is coming out soon. Without further ado, let's get into this and see what it's all about. Mario Plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope is coming to Switch this, this fall, fall, bringing back beloved heroes and teaming them up with new allies, including a very unexpected one. <laughs> to learn more about Bowser joining our heroes, a couple of the planets your team will explore, and using new powers and techniques in battle, we spoke to lead producer Xavier Manzanares. What were some of the first thoughts when you started thinking about new characters to bring to Sparks of Hope? We don't want to um, to add random characters to the cast, but think in a way that how would they impact the battles? Edge, um, the uh, the new rabbit hero, for instance, is all about close quarter combat and reacting to the enemy's mid and close range, and she has tons of personality too. So we're excited also because we saw Bowser is joining our heroes. How did the idea to make Bowser an ally come about? So we wanted to add a Nintendo character that would be um, surprising for the players. So having Mario and Bowser in the same team is quite unique. We truly love the idea of having Bowser as well in a tactical game. Bowser fits perfectly the combo needs that we wanted to have with other heroes. And it's also super funny to see him act with Mario, but also the rabbits. All right, so we got a first look at a couple of the planets. Yeah. What can you tell us about Beacon Beach and Pristine Peaks? Beacon Beach is all about sun, the beach. Uh, there's a great temple as well. Uh, but because of darkness and what Cursa, uh, the big enemy of the game, did, well, everything became yeah. rainy, depressing when you arrive on the planet. So players have to uh, remove uh, on Beacon Beach the darkness and let the sun shine again. And by doing so, you unlock tons of new quests. So, Pristine Peaks on the other side is very different. The vibe is very different. It's all about snow, snowstorms. Um, yeah. There's one big mountain to ascend. Uh, you'll go through different paths, caverns, um, and also reaching the palace that is full of um, mysteries, puzzles, but also a big fight. So yeah, we decided to have, for all the planets, um, not just the first two ones, but we decided to have multiple zones and regions per planet and mm. um, because it's all about discovery um, and making sure the players have this autonomy to check whatever he wants or she wants and it's a big oh, aspect of the game. All right, so who are the wardens that we meet on these planets? So the wardens are those rabbit characters that they're rulers of their own planet but completely lost on what to do next. They are important allies uh, telling our heroes what to do or um, in order to bring back peace. And um, we spent a lot of uh, production efforts on those wardens because they're, they need to be very funny and they are. Um, they're weird, quite unique. They have their own set of animations, tons of personality and uh, we love them. So let's talk mm. about gameplay now. Can you tell us more about using spark powers and techniques and the difference between them? They're very unique. So you can equip two of them per hero. Mm, so if okay. you have three heroes in a battle, it means uh, six, which is a lot because they each come with their own active and passive bonuses. Fire Spark could bring a fire attack to your weapon, but as well, a fire spike could also bring a uh, fire dash. So it's up to you to mix and match. And maybe you want to mix a fire one with a water one because each of them also protect you from the enemies and their super effects based on that spark. So they're really, really important in the battle mm -hmm. because you can equip any spark with any hero. So that's the big difference as well with the techniques because techniques are specific to the heroes. So basically mixing the sparks and the techniques together, uh, plus the archetype of the hero, um, really creates tons of possibilities uh, for the players. Yeah, and speaking of players, there this is for all players. So newcomers, tactical game enthusiasts, everyone in between. How do you manage oh, it looks the balance like there's many of games in here too. players? It's a rabbits game, it's a Ubisoft game, but it's also a Mario game. So it's really, really key and important. So removing the grid and the cursor was a way to avoid the fear of testing the game if you never played this type of uh, games before. So it was part of the decision why we removed that, but also because we wanted to add more action and fluidity uh, every turn and everywhere. And that was quite 
important for mainstream players yeah. as well. We, we have a community of players now and they expect more when it comes to tactics. So when we added the sparks, we changed the skill tree, we added new archetypes for the heroes or the enemies, the new yeah, ingredients like the tree, items okay. we have now in the game. So basically the strategy and tactics are truly at the center of the, uh, the gameplay. It's a big push that we've made. Of course, we have autofill options like we had in the past, and this will help the players in case they don't want to dig too deep. But the autofill will never be as good as doing it manually. And this is something that we want to teach those new players as well. Well, I'm so excited yeah. to play. Thank you for speaking with me today and telling us more about the game. We are so excited. Uh, it's an incredible adventure. Um, very proud of what the team achieved, that's for sure. And uh, we, I guess we cannot wait to reveal more, but we'll watch out on not spoiling too much, that's for sure. Of course. All right, well, Mario Plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope is coming to Nintendo Switch on October 20. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Alright folks, there's your in-depth uh, look into Mario Plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope. So uh, if you guys are excited when it, when it releases October 20th, show us let us know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed that, hit the thumbs up. If you want to see more, definitely hit the subscribe. And we'll see you all on the next one.